Salmon are a type of fish that can live in both fresh and salt water in Canada and the northern United States. They live most of their life in the ocean, but swim upstream or against the current back to the rivers where they were born to lay eggs. Did you know that salmon change color throughout their life? They change from silver to a bright red color when they move upstream to have babies. I hope that you enjoyed taking a look at some of these really cool salmon pictures and are ready to get started on our picture. Let's begin. Let's get started using the drawing guide to get started by drawing out our salmon. The drawing guide is there to help you, but feel free to use your own ideas as you start making your fish. The things that I'm thinking about when I begin drawing my fish is I'm thinking about the overall shape of my fish and the different body parts that my salmon fish might have. My drawing guide is there to help me look at different body parts of my salmon fish. What kinds of fins? What kinds of texture does my fish have? What different body parts does my fish have? And when I think about those different parts of my fish, it helps me get started on making it. Now once I've got my overall fish penciled in, I'm going to take a black crayon so that you can see my pencil work a lot better. I also forgot to add in the texture of my fish or the scales, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with my black crayon as well. This allows you to be able to see the fish a lot better, a lot clearer into my work. It'll also help out when we get started on the next step as well. Let's go ahead and talk about our next step. Once you're done outlining in black so we can see all your detail, go ahead and get some white paint and a brush and sh start showing the emphasis or you're starting to emphasize another color onto your fish. So I'm just adding a little bit of my white paint to add some different emphasis or make some of those pieces stand out. Some of those lines that we created, whether it was a curved line, a circle, or straight lines that made up our fish. I love the way this looks. I'm going to go ahead and take a moment to set that onto the drying rack and let that dry now. Next, let's talk about showing movement. When I get started on my second piece of paper, I'm going to go ahead and use my white paint again and I'm trying to show the different um, feel that the river might have on it. So in my head I'm thinking, you know, I thought about the lines that might be um, the fish would have to swim against. Remember that at the beginning of the video when it talked a little bit about swimming upstream? So I'm using different kinds of lines to create movement into my background. You can make that river as wild or as tame as you like. Now lastly, now that my fish have dried relatively quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out and start assembling it together. So let's go ahead, take my scissors, and cut out carefully the fish. Do you see how I cut my paper down so that I'm not cutting out all three fish at one time? Made it a little bit easier. And lastly, notice where I put the dots onto the back of my fish. See how it's going to the outside edge and dot, dot? Dot, dot is a lot, lot. Instead of making one huge puddle, try to spread out those dots all along the outside edge. Thanks for watching and happy art making.